How have smartphones contributed to the rise of citizen journalism? Smartphones have become a staple in our lives since their mainstream release in 2002 and have allowed globalised communication and worldwide connections. Standard calls and texts have developed into apps, internet access, cameras and portability. This development has aided and increased the use of citizen journalism. Citizen journalism is defined as the collection, dissemination and analysis of news and information by the general public, especially by means of the internet. Smartphone usage has significantly increased in the last few years, rising from 52% of people owning a phone in 2012 to 85% in 2017. This increased usage allows for more interaction and communication between members of the public. Smartphone development has helped increase citizen journalism, from the first smartphone having no camera or internet access, to new phones being portable, having access to the internet and cameras. Citizen journalists are able to upload, download and instantly have news available to them, making citizen journalism more accessible to both view and capture than ever. Smartphones, citizen journalism and social media. Smartphones have increasingly adapted to our modern ways, with apps creating a one-click access to our social lives. Twitter and Facebook are among the most, app, most popular apps used, with 1.47 billion people using Facebook and 157 million people using Twitter daily. These apps have created a trend of sharing, live streaming and hashtagging, with stories going viral within minutes of posting. Smartphones and apps go hand in hand to aid citizen journalists in their reportings, letting them share their experiences on a fast and even live scale. Their stories are easy to find and follow due to smartphones and apps giving citizens journalists a larger platform to share their reports. There is also an app named The Quint. It is a citizen journalism website to help people publish their own reports and media. It is easily accessible with smartphones, making the platform for citizen journalists even bigger than standard social media. You can scroll through stories and publish your own, being able to add images, video and audio. Here, Paul Lewis talks about people recording their own version of events and how this compares to official Great. reports. Anybody can access it. And stories like these, which were questioning the official version of events, which were sceptical in tone, allowed people to realise that we had questions ourselves. They were online magnets. Individuals with material that could help us were drawn toward us by some kind of gravitational force. The 9-11 terror attacks happened a year before smartphones were created. Footage of the attack could only be recorded on video cameras, if people had them, and news outlets, who were not immediately on the scene. These three examples show the impact the lack of smartphones had on the reporting of this event, all three newspapers showed nearly the exact same image. No smartphones meant that the news reportings were not overly varied and couldn't fully cover the story on the scene compared to how it would have if smartphones were developed. Modern events are often recorded by the public and citizens who are in the area at the time, such as the Tottenham riots and the California wildfires. Hashtags and apps such as Twitter were heavily utilised during the London riots in 2011. The ease of access and specific tagging of videos and tweets meant that the news and footage of the violence was distributed on a national scale. People who were there were all able to show the event from their perspective, something that would not have been possible without smartphones. The citizen journalism was used by official news outlets to give a formal reporting, as it would have been difficult for their cameras to access the scenes in the same way. From this example, we can see that smartphones have significantly impacted the freedom it gives citizens in how their footage and journalism is recorded. The California wildfires of this year were also published online for millions to see, with many celebrities and public figures using their social media to show the damage and destruction the fires caused. Citizens of the California area were recording their experiences of returning to their burnt down homes and driving through fires to evacuate to safety. Smartphones allowed these videos to be recorded because official sources would not have had the same access. Without smartphones, the amount of videos and information available may not have been as large and also would not have spread as quickly. 
Smartphones have contributed to the rise of citizen journalism due to their portability, worldwide access and connectivity. Having the ability to upload on the go and stream directly to the general public is what makes citizen journalism important in our modern day life. And without smartphones, citizen journalism would not be as effective as it is today. At any point, anyone today can become the most important journalist in the world.